Um, Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. My great presentation today. Um, before we go into our presentation, let me introduce myself. My name is uh, Dr. Pramil Charyat. I'm a, a physician practicing in the United States, a program director in internal medicine residency, transitional residency. I'm also a associate professor of medicine, two large medical schools. So let's get into our topic. We're going to start our topic on antibiotics, okay? Um, last uh, few days we were talking about endocrinology, make sure you watch that, and today we're going to talk about antibiotics, and we'll start with the antibiotic, the most important part of the antibiotic, when I talk about the antibiotic, we have to look at the bacteria, and then look at the cell wall of the bacteria. Okay, and what are the components, what structures are there? So, the, when you look at today, we're going to look at gram-positive and gram-negative. On this side, we got gram-positive. On the other side, we got gram-negative, the structure. Okay, now, when you look at the gram-negative, I'm just going to start right here. <clears throat> when you look at it, they have something special called outer membrane. Okay, so, this outer membrane, does gram positive have it? Do you see it over here? No. Okay, so they missing, gram positive missing this gram, uh, this outer membrane. Why is it significant? On the outer membrane, there's something called lipopolysaccharide. Very dangerous to the humans. So, what does it do? It contains, it's actually like an endotoxin. Okay, and then what happened to the lipopolysaccharide? It just kind of activated the inflammatory cytokine, like induces uh, TNF uh, and IM interleukin 1. The main thing they induce is, let's say, TNF and uh, interleukin 1. Okay? Now, after this, <clears throat> what do we have? We got a cell wall. Okay? Now, the cell, look at the cell wall over here, right? The gram positive, look how thick the cell wall is in the gram positive. When you gram negative, the cell wall is very thin. Okay, now let's go a little bit deep into the cell, um, into the cell wall, and then find out what's inside it. Okay, inside the cell wall, you got this peptidoglycans. This is the, that's the main component of the cell wall. But here again, very thick. Here is thin, very thin. Okay, so when you look at the peptidoglycan, you got mainly two sugar polymers. Okay, then you can call it long sugar polymers. Let's look at the polymers. It got NAG, N acetyl glucosamine, and the next one is N acetyl ramic acid. Those are the main two long chain sugar polymers. And then what happens is, like, you know, you have to create the structure linking together. There's something called uh, five, I mean, pentapeptides right here, L-alanine, D-glutamate, L-lysine, glycine, and D-alanine, okay? These are right here. And then what happens, you got glycine five bridges kind of linking together. So this is, that makes the strong structure linking all this together. So just remember the component. You got the long sugar polymers, okay, NAG and NAM. You got pentapeptide, the L-alanine, D-glutamine, and N-lysine, glycine, and D-alanine. And you got uh, pentaglycine bridge in between, okay, making this rigid structure, by, I mean, combining all of this together. Now, another important protein plays a very important role. This is called uh, penicillin binding protein. It just kind of binds with this D-alanine and then, you know, make this whole process make it smoother. So enzyme, we need no penicillin binding protein enzymes involved, okay? So remember, so gram positive, you start with the cell wall. And after the cell wall, you have something called a cytoplasmic membrane. And the cytoplasmic membrane have like porins kind of help through this, irons kind of let it, let it pass through and all that. It also, when you talk about this cell membrane, the cytoplasmic membrane, gram positive, you see the structures right here, okay? This is called the lipotechoic acid, okay? Now, gram negatives don't have it, only gram positive. What does it do, this lipo lipotechoic acid? It activates this uh, inflammatory cytokines like TNF and IL-1. Just like over here, lipopolysaccharide, 
that's in the gram negative, in the gram positive, in the um, cytoplasmic membrane, you got lipoteicoic acid, okay? And um, in a nutshell, that's what like the cell envelope is. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.